to the app store here and just say pet tutor and now you'll see that there are two apps uh, pet tutor blue which is the original app you want to keep that that's going to be um, something that you're going to continue to use the remote trainer app is a completely separate app and it is only used to uh, turn an Android device into a base station for remote internet training. So now we're installing it and we'll walk through the steps. It's getting all set up on my uh, Samsung phone. Uh, this will work on any Android. So now I'm going to open it and the first thing I need to do is uh, it's my uh, another app there. You won't have that. So I'm going to enter in my email address. I made one up. I just call this Jennifer. Jennifer at smartanimaltraining.com. So whatever your email address is, you put your own email address in there. And then uh, we'll have to have a password. This will give us access remotely. I'll just put in a simple password. You make up your own. And this has to be a unique one for your uh, particular installation. So uh, don't use the one that I'm going to use. Pet. T-U-T-O-R. Pet Tutor. One, two, three. Just a very simple one just for the demo. And... Now I'm going to press the sign up button. Uh, the next time I come in, I would press the log button once I set up the account. So I'm setting up the account. It wants me to re-enter the password. And then I can uh, give it a name. Any name will do. And press done. And now I'm going to create an account. And this is just telling us that uh, we have to use Bluetooth. So you'll have to have pet tutor with Bluetooth. And click OK. And I have to give permission for the app. And now I'm going to go in. And you'll see I've got some other devices I happen to have. Uh, oh, I didn't realize I've got a couple of feeders. This one with the biggest signal strength next to me is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to hit the connect check mark just like the regular app now this looks like the regular app but it's not again we're in the pet tutor remote trainer app we're setting up and connecting to the feeder so I'll just call this one give it any name uh, feeder number one okay and now I'm going to hit start training down here at the bottom and uh, we're going to allow, we have to allow the app to take pictures because now it's going to start to show video and audio. And here I am. <laughs> and so I could point this. Now I'm setting this up in the room where the dog would be. So if I had the dog and the pet tutor in a room, now I'm working the camera off of my phone. You see this little button down here in the corner, test the feeder. So if I press that, uh, it's blinking the feeder right now. That just is a way to test the local feeder to make sure everything's working. And now that's all set up. The next step is I have to go to the um, app or, or to the link that I want to use. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And so here's the setup. You'll see this uh, setup that I have here on the screen. So this is one where I've got the, the app already running in the room. This is, We call this the dog end or the dog station. The other end is the remote or the trainer end in the station. And now I'm going to go to this trainer end. I've set everything up on the dog end, and I've got my camera aimed at the dog, let's say, and now I want to go in remotely. So I need to click a link, and um, I, this is the link that we want to use. Um, remote.pettutor.biz and so that's the one that you want to use okay now we're at the second part of the procedure which I'm going to open the remote link and here's the link you want to use it's http colon slash slash remote dot 
pettutor.biz. You click on that link. Now, if you've been in it before, it will remember you. And so you're going to see it's already logged into my account. I'm going to log out to show you how you log in. Now, one of the tricks right now is that everything is case sensitive. So if you entered your email address and you used uh, upper and lower case, it has to be entered exactly as you entered it before. So it's smart animal training.com. Same for the password, both the email address and the password are case sensitive. And the password that I set up before was just pet tutor one, two, three. And now if I click login, and there we go. So now we're at the screen that um, will be showing the remote trainer. So I'm going to call that up. And now the only thing left to do is push this middle button, which is connect to the remote training device. And, and there, there we, we go. go. And, and so, so you'll, you'll see, see the, the, the feed button. button. And, and I've, I've got, got some, some echo, echo here. here. And, and so, so if I, I press, press this the feed button, button now, now it's, it's triggering, triggering the feed. Here. Okay. So, so that's, that's the way, the way that, that whole setup works. Uh, so, so uh, I hope, hope that, that yeah, gets, gets you started. started. And, and then I can just log out. out. And that's it.